question comes up, should the Muslims celebrate Christmas? Muslims believe in Prophet Isa as one of the five Ulul Azum prophets. There is a hierarchy among Anbiya. The Mursaleen are above the Anbiya, and among the Mursaleen, there are five at the top. And Isa ibn Maryam is one of those five. We believe in his miraculous birth. There is a story about his birth in the Quran itself. His mother, Maryam السلام, has been named as one of the, the name of the surahs is after her name. And this is all right as far as, you know, our belief and respect and honor for Isa ibn Maryam is concerned. It is Rasulullah and the Imams of, of the Ahlul Bayt who have introduced ibn, Isa ibn Maryam in this way to us. But they never celebrated 25th of December as the birthday of Isa ibn Maryam. Nor did they ask us to do that. Muslims for centuries after that interacted with Christians, whether in the Middle East or Asia or Africa or even in Europe. When Ottoman Empire had some countries under its dom domination, uh, or even when they were in, in Spain, Muslims, when they ruled that area, they did not, you know, uh, celebrate uh, Christmas as part of their own tradition. It's only after the Muslims have migrated to the West in the recent history that we, the, we hear this question coming up. And I'll be blunt. Many people don't like me for many things. Maybe let, let add this in the list. <laughs> I'll be very blunt. Those who say, Maulana, we believe in Isa ibn Maryam. Why can't we celebrate? They're not really asking that question out of their love for Isa ibn Maryam. They lived for 40 years in Africa or India or Pakistan. They never thought about it. But now that we live in midst of a society which is Christian majority, we want to basically emulate, become like them. That is the basis of that question. It is not really low of Isa ibn Maryam. And this is what I'm saying, respecting Prophet Isa does not mean that we adopt the rituals of Christianity. Christianity is one religion, Islam is another religion. We live in the society, there is no problem, Sharan, to wish them well and to give the greetings for their holidays, but we cannot be part of their rituals. This is something we have to know very clearly. So some, some people say, you know, maybe we should go and attend midnight, mass in the church on Christmas Eve or decorate a Christmas tree at our home or the center. Huh? After all, we talk about interfaith, you know, activities. It's to know about one another, not to adopt the rituals of one another. Hindus wouldn't have namaz in the mandir Synagogues don't celebrate Christianity. I don't know why Muslims want to do everything for everyone. This is the mentality, you know. Oh, everybody is fine with their own ways. And somebody forwarded me a picture. Mashallah, you know, those who put down the Arba'in walk now are decorating a Christmas tree with the star of David in their center. You know, you, you start thinking about it, what's, what's going on? And so, yes, we have to respect all religious communities. They have absolute right to observe their own religious, you know, traditions, but do not mix one with the another. Salawat, Pardon. <laughs> Surah Kafirun. What is it about? 
You know, the mushrikeen came to Rasulullah when they realized, you know, he's not listening to what we are saying. He's not being threatened by all different kinds of, you know, opposition that we have. So they say, why, why don't we compromise? You know, for a few months, we will come and do the, the way you do. Even we'll join in your salat. But then for the same number of months, you join us in our worship. This is where the ayat comes in. قُلْ يَا أَيُّ الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ Say to them, you know, I don't worship what you worship. وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَبِدُونَ مَا عَبُدُ Nor do you worship what I worship. وَلَا أَنَا عَبِدٌ مَا عَبِدْتُمْ And I'm not going to worship what you worship. وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَبِدُونَ مَا عَبُدُ Nor are you going to worship what I worship. لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَ دِينُ You will have your own religion, I will keep my own religion. This is about rituals that we don't mix. And this is where we have to realize, you know, we respect every religious community to observe their own rituals, but we don't believe in, you know, mixing things and confusing the future generations.